Hello everyone, David Lee here. Last year I created a video about a second grade PBL unit where students took on the role of city planners. You can find the link to the video in the description below. Part of their role as city planners was to ensure the safety of the community members. Since the local community is located on the hillside, erosion was one of the problems that they faced. Our second grade civil engineers used the design thinking process to design solutions to these erosion problems. They gained an understanding of the design problem in the empathize stage. Define the problem sentence after learning the criteria for a successful solution in the define stage. And sketched out multiple ideas and created blueprints during the ideate stage. We also learned about rapid prototyping, a technique where engineers create things quickly to test them out. It allows engineers to find failure points quickly so that the necessary changes can be made. Basically, you learn faster. Here are some cool ideas that the students came up with. I was extremely surprised to see that their ideas were actually being used by professionals today. We saw retaining walls of different materials, ditch erosion control, vegetation-inspired solutions where the roots hold onto the soil, piers that create deep foundation systems for subsidence, geotextiles that retain the soil and drain the water out, and windbreaks that protects farm topsoil from eroding. Students documented their tests and compared their multiple prototypes to see which one they would present to the community. At the end of the unit, our students showcased their erosion solutions at the first annual City Planning Expo, where the city's actual urban planner visited to see what the students designed and came up with. You can find a video about the event in the description below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to click on the like button if you enjoyed the video and click on the video on the right to watch an overview of what the unit was all about. And click on the left to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'd like to give a special thanks to Becca Guess and Jean McLaughlin for making this project possible.